This could be one very unpopular opinion, but I want you to stop trying to open your hips in the downswing. What? I guarantee the 90% of you down that lens have done things like this before, where you try to get open, get your hips open, like you see the pros doing. You think, bang, I found the Eureka move. Open my hips and I'll start striking it like the guys I see on the TV. Well, let's stop trying to think that way. What I see in my lessons so often and people just out on the golf course generally, they're trying to get their hips open, but so many of you or lots of golfers out there won't have the flexibility to do it to start with. So you get to the top of your swing, you think, right, I need to open myself up. Both of your upper body and hips go together, hands, path, kicks out, cut across it, big high slices. The second thing I see when people are trying to get their hips open is they swing to the top and then this hip kicks forward loads and people sort of stand up, they get sort of the club dumping behind them, producing big blocks and the odd big duck hook. Again, disaster. So I say it's an unpopular opinion, but stop trying to open your hips because you will be able to open your hips. I want you to get that open hip look like you see the guys on the TV, but they're doing it because of good movements before. You might have seen this drill before, but it's a great one. The chair drill. Now there's other ways of doing this drill, a beach ball, put it against your bum, against the wall, and get these feelings as well. Something that's a bit squishy. I don't have a ball with me today, so the chair drill it is. Now, you can do this with a golf bag as well. If you've got a stand bag, pop the bag against your sort of hip area here, like I am with this chair, and set yourself up to a golf ball. Get yourself in posture. The key movements that you're seeing the guys on the TV do to get that sort of open hip look, which you're all after, is that they're getting the right movements with their hips before they get to impact. So they start with their hips on the chair. Their first move will be pushing the chair away from them with their right butt cheek. So you're basically turning your right hip back and pushing that chair away from you. That gets my weight into the heel of my right foot, my trail foot. And then once I get to the top of my swing, as I start my downswing, I'm not kicking this out away from me. Like we talked about, we see when people try to really open their hips, I'm leaving that hip pushed against that chair. And I'm starting to bring my left hip onto that chair as well. That allows me to create so much space. My hands aren't kicking out because my hips moved away from the chair. Push that hip away from you. Push that chair away from you with your right hip. Add the second hip. So now you're pretty level halfway down in your swing. Your knees are level, your hips are level. Both hips and butt cheeks are pushing this chair away from you. And then, as you start from here halfway down, you're gonna push that chair with your left hip. And now look, I'm open. And I haven't thought about opening my hips at all in my downswing. I'm thinking about keeping my hip depth back rather than opening my hips, getting both my shoulders, my upper body, my hips turning together to try and get open. Those common mistakes that we talked about earlier in the video. Great drill, so simple. Doesn't have to be a chair. I've just got a chair in the room here. There's three others over there, so I could have taken my pick. Golf bag, beach ball that's a bit squishy. Push it against the wall and push it with your trail hip first against the wall, then push it again so you feel like you're keeping your hips back. You've probably seen videos of people swings online, on the TV even, where they draw a line down the back here and they show the hip staying on it. They show people early extending and coming away from it. Again, this drill, keeping that hip depth, pushing that chair away from you with your right hip on the way back. Add the left hip on the way down. Once your arms sort of get to parallel to the floor or club parallel to the floor, we need everything lining up. And then we're gonna push that chair 
with our left hip as well. I'm open. I've got good club paths, which is going to help with my face control, which is going to help with my distance because all of a sudden I'm not cutting across it. Add in loft, which is what you see when people are kicking that hand path out, trying to open up in the downswing. Super simple. Grab a chair, grab your golf bag, grab a beach ball, something squishy that you can do it up against the wall. Do it at home, do it at the driving range, do it in your practice swings before you hit the golf ball. Honestly, you'll see your results and your strike completely transform to play better golf. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you seen this drill before? I certainly have used it in the past for my own game. Let's make it help your game and improve those golf scores. If you're not a subscriber already or you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the videos, which I hope you are, hit that big red subscribe button so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. Thanks all for watching. I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next one.